Hey guys, welcome back. In the first video, I showed you how to import the movie file or movie clip into the video sequence editor. Um, now I want to show you how to start setting up the clip to make it a little bit easier on yourself to edit because if sometimes if you don't do these things, it can really screw up um, and freeze up on you. Uh, but this is the best way I've found to set it up to prevent that. So the first thing I usually do, depending on how many clips I have already imported, I will set the end frame clear down here at the end. And Blender is great and works really fast if you learn all the keyboard shortcuts. Um, it's a pain in the butt to learn them at first, but it'll save you so much headache in the future. Um, I will show you the long way around to do each thing, and then I'll show you the keyboard shortcut as well. But the first thing you want to do is move this end frame down here. And the easiest way to do that, the the long way to do that is to, you know, kind of move the uh, scrub bar around until you find it. And then down here on the bottom, it'll give you the frame that you're on. And then you can go to the end, click uh, left click on that, and change it to match that. And then hit enter. And it'll set that down here at the end. Now, if we move it back, <clears throat> say 50, the easiest way to do it for me is to go to the end down here, a little bit past it, and then on your keyboard, hit the page down button. That'll automatically take you to the very end of that clip back from where you have the scrub bar. Now you can go down in here, this little area down here where it's kind of light gray and dark gray, and you can hit E on your keyboard and it'll automatically set the end frame to that. Now this works on both ends of this timeline here. You can also go in here if you want it to start here and instead of hitting E down in this area you can hit S and it'll make the start frame right there. So let's get this back. So now you have a full area here to work with now and it will play through there. Now one problem you can have with Blender is it will start to kind of peter out on you when you're playing through and kind of, I don't know, freeze up. Um, the best way to do that, and that, a lot of that depends on your system, but the best way to work around that is to set up proxy files, and that's the only other thing I want to show you in this video to keep it relatively short, and then in the next video we'll move on past that. But to set up proxies, you're going to want to left, or I'm sorry, right click on the video um, the video and not the audio. So right click on that and then scroll over here in this settings uh, pane until you get down to where it says proxy and time code. And then you'll check that and then you can either play it at 25% of the original resolution, 50%, 75%, so on. 25% uh, will really drop it down if your video is not really um, you don't need to really see what's going on in it so much. 25% is great and you'll have absolutely no problems. 50% is usually what I do, so I'll check 50%, uncheck 25%, and then you can hit Rebuild, Proxy, and Timecode Indices. And then if you look down here, there's a progress bar loading up, and what it's doing is creating another file that will run with this that you'll see at 50% resolution, which will make the video play a lot better inside Blender. Okay, now that it's done, you'll go up to the view right here in the viewport. Click on view, properties, and then you set the proxy render size and then set it to whatever you made that video. And then if you watch the video here of Eloy, you'll notice that the resolution um, or the, the quality gets worse. Not really noticeable really at 50%. 25% you would notice, 50% not so much. But now if we play it, we'll have absolutely no problems. Might be tempted to run a nail through it and solve your problem that way. <laughs> okay, that's all good. And then I guess I lied to you. I'm going to show you one more thing that really helps with editing. And that is to create a waveform in the audio file. That way you can see what uh, where the audio cuts off and stuff. So you'll want to right click the audio. Same window or same pane over here in the properties until you get right here, and then all you have to do is left click draw waveform and it will create a waveform in that file. And that's kind of the first step to getting set up. Um, actually, that's really all about just about all you need to do to get set up and ready to go 
with editing. So I hope that helps. In the next video, I'll show you some of the uh, keyboard shortcuts and this and that for cutting video, putting video together, moving it around inside Blender. And uh, hopefully we'll progress a little bit past all this and we can start editing some video. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.